A langerland means flower of the flower and is a renowned aphrodisiac and a popular ingredient in perfumery. There are several grades of a langerlang available and um, I always use a higher priced um, label or as labeled as a lang a lang extra. Other grades are just usually um, like less refined and they really lack the cream, the creamy richness of the essence. I find, the, you know, the scent of a lang a lang can be really overpowering. So really start with maybe one drop and only small doses because it can really overpower your blend very very quickly. And the oil can increase the feeling of well being. Its calming properties can also lower blood pressure and breathing rates. And in turn, this can reduce panic attacks and anxiety. Alang Alan is absolutely amazing for skin and hair. It can really deeply nourish and hydrate brittle, dry hair. And when, you, and when used in face creams, it can really improve the appearance of tired and sagging skin. Lang and Lang is also hormonal, hormonal balancing oil and it can also improve hormonal acne, for example. Properties, benefits and uses. So let's have a look. What are the uses for a lang and lang? So when you're looking at the chemical profile, it has like 40% sesquiterpenes, 20% alcohol, 10% phenols, and 15% esters. So sesquiterpenes are regarded as balancing and calming. Alcohols are regarded to be a stimulant. They're good for skin. They have a nice um, scent to them and they're good antibacterial oils. And uh, phenols, while well, these are definitely not, also really strong stimulants, but definitely not to be used on an everyday basis and um, definitely should not be used in pregnancy or when breastfeeding or definitely not to be used on babies or children. But generally they're good antioxidants and uh, they're highly antiseptic. They're antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. Um, they're nerve stimulant and they're generally good tonic. But as I said, to be used with caution. So what can you do with the lang a lang? So um, it's it's a good hormonal balancing oil. So it's good for anxiety and depression. It's good for high blood pressure. It because it really slows. It also slows the heart rate down. Um, it's good for insomnia. It's also good for oily and aging skin. But it's also good for hair. It blends well with all the citrus oils, so cedarwood, chamomile and um, jasmine, rose and sandalwood and it's also it's also considered to be a aphrodisiac and it's often used in a perfume. So what can you use it for? So the best way to use a lang a lang of course is to use it in a perfume so I have like a little recipe for you that you can actually then um, make your own perfume so like one drop of a lang a lang, two drops of jasmine five drops of sandalwood and you put it into jojoba oil or the perfume as alcohol, you can also use vodka and then you can just apply it um, to your wrists or wherever you want your perfume on. You can also use it in skin hair or hair care. So if you add five drops to answer in shampoo to restore dry and brittle hair and uh, you can also add five drops to your uh, base cream or jojoba oil to tone the sagging skin and restore youthful glow. This is not probably one of those essential oils that you must have in your kit but it's a really nice oil to have. It is slightly bit expensive but it lasts you quite long so you really, because you only need a small dose. I probably would recommend you get one. I absolutely love Elang Elang. I use Elang Elang Extra because I also make perfumes. So, and Elang Elang Extra is kind of made more for the perfume industry as for aromatherapy. And they are slightly more expensive. I buy Elang Elang for the scent. So, if you're not using it for perfumes, you can just get the regular Elang Elang. So, I definitely must have from me.